Coach Craney, the season obviously hasn't gone the way that you had hoped it would when we first started out. What can you say about what's happened over the last few weeks? Oh, uh, yeah, just, um, you know, it's been a really tough go. Uh, I think these kids definitely deserve a better fate. Uh, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, I, just looking to be for that little break <laughs> it's, it's the best way to put it. Um, you know, from a, a leadership perspective, you know, we're just we're just not in a position to overcome start a season setbacks like what happened with Laurier, you know, not you know, not being able to play 14 players and 10 starters um, and just recovering from that, even though I thought we we, we bounced back, um, especially on the defensive side of the ball. The defense has played very, very well all year. Um, but you know what? You just don't win football games on one side of the football. Um, you know, the. You know, if you go back to Ottawa, these kids deserve to win that football game. Um, and, and who knows what the season would have looked like um, had they won that game. Because um, that's all these kids need is just a little, t a little taste of what success looks like, and they'll achieve it. Um, you know, from a coaching staff perspective, we just got to work harder um, and get them better prepared to play. And um, you just mentioned the defense briefly. They've been pretty strong all year. If you could just elaborate on what they've been able to accomplish. I don't think strong is a good word. Um, you know, I'd say dominant is a better word. Um, they've played absolutely fantastic. They've done everything, everything we've asked them to do. They've overcome some pretty massive injuries um, across the board um, to still keep fighting, um, and they have. Um, you know, I don't think the score indicates how well they played today. I thought they played outstanding. Um, I think a lot of this is owed to Coach Ockro. He gets these kids prepared to play football, um, and these kids are prepared. Um, you know, we know what's happening on the other side of the ball before it happens, and and that just goes down to um, preparation. Um, you know, we've also had a lot of individual football is a team sport, but we've had a lot of individual dominance, um, especially up front. Quadro Bowen, uh, J J J Messier. Um, Kevin Musai, uh, Dawson Davis, uh, Matt Dean has just been unstoppable. They're a great core. And then the secondary has been the same. Like we've had a strong, strong performance um, from our, our fifth year corner in Danny Amoka. Talik was a big part of that, but, you know, got unfortunately injured last week. Um, and we had some amazing freshmen step up in uh, Mac Bannentine and Ricky Parsons that have just looked like third and fourth year players. So, um, you know, from a team perspective, we look really good. Um, you know, we just got to build off the success the defense has had this season. Uh, the season finale is next week, a rematch against our city rivals, and also the last game for a lot of our guys who will be graduating. Um, how do you want to see it play out next week? Obviously, we want, you know, we want, we want to give these kids a victory. You know, their last home game um, in, this, in this brand new stadium. Um, last game as a York Lion. Um, and there's a lot of them. You know, our, our academic program has been outstanding, um, and we are we are graduating our players at an insane rate. Um, so that's amazing to see. But they deserve they deserve to win to go out on a winning note. Um, you know, it's amazing what a little taste of success um, looks like, and and how it can propel you into the next season and, and getting prepared um, for free, for future victories. Um, I know there's I know it. I told them this. I believe after, trying to remember, I think after the Ottawa game, uh, you know, in that group out there, I know there's an eight-no group. I know there's an eight-no group out there. Um, you know, it's just about, from a coaching perspective, just, just guiding them and developing them um, to get to that goal.